tell you, it's even more impressive in person. Trust me, it is. It's really the sound of the waterfall. I know, it's so peaceful. Mm -hmm. And the house is beautiful. It is. Hey! Hi, how are Hi. you guys? Welcome. Thank, thank you for thank having you. us. Look what you found down here in the woods. I know, it's I know. beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is the shot that you see in the books. And is this your first time seeing falling water in person? It is. The pictures really don't do it justice. Yeah. Because this is breathtaking. What are some things that are catching your eye and your interest while we're looking? So all of the stairs look really cool to me. The Coffin family who lived here loved that waterfall. It was yes. the center of their weekend life. Let's get a closer look and keep exploring. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We'll follow you. All right. We're here in the heart of the Laurel Highlands at Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water, which was a house designed in 1935 for the Kaufman family, owners of the Pittsburgh's largest department store. When Wright came out to this landscape to take a look at the site with the Kaufmans, he thought he could do something pretty spectacular here. So instead of facing the house, looking at the waterfalls, he cantilevers the house up and over the waterfalls, places it on top of the waterfalls so that it flows underneath the house. Totally revolutionary concept. Simple way to think of it is like when you pull a drawer out of a dresser drawer and the drawer stands open by itself and doesn't tip out of the dresser, that's a cantilever. As soon as the house was finished, because it was such an innovative design, it propelled him to fame. It was instantly famous, not just by the architect community, but by the general public. So Falling Water attracts people from all over the world. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We typically see around 150 to 170,000 visitors each year. And for architects, it's just such a revolutionary house. The whole point of Falling Water is to connect people to the natural world, to help them better appreciate and understand and how you can live harmoniously with nature through good design. Come on into the living room and we'll take it in. Wow. Ooh. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is modern heaven. I love all of this stone in here and it feels so like cozy and homey. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look at the low seats. Yeah. And in fact, everything is very low in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. If you were to kneel down just a little bit, the sight lines are adjusted just enough so that it's really more for sitting. Yeah. Very low ceilings. Mean. I see what you mean, especially with the view. Yeah. You said cozy and homey. When Frank Lloyd Wright designed a house, he felt that it should provide a place for shelter and rest. He also said shelter in the open. So how do we combine shelter, right. yet also make it open? Yes. Over here, I think this is like a boulder breaking the surface of the water. Oh. Um, if you two wanted to stand on that boulder now, okay. You could have stood there long before falling water was ever imagined. This boulder has always been here. Oh, he built he it around the boulder. Oh. Just accepted it, the challenge. And that was wow. another part of organic architecture, right, was to include nature yes. in the design. This is the kitchen. Pretty amazing. And look at the refrigerator and the simple line of the door. Check out the stove. Let's find the top of those steps okay. we were looking at. Wright called this the hatch, just like a ship's hatch. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And he designed this glass and steel enclosure to transform. So in the wintertime, coffins would have it shut like this. Mm -hmm. In the summer, pushes all the way back. This goes all the way under the petunias there. I can just imagine just the peace and serenity of those last two steps. Mm-hmm. 
sitting there, dangling your feet mm -hmm. and touching the water. The Coffin family definitely would use this mm -hmm. and the plungeable we saw. Yes. But if you remember, their favorite place to swim was right at the bottom of the waterfall. Yes. Right. Which, again, is not so visible. It makes us right. maybe want to find it. Yes. So go head out to the terrace here, and I'll be right behind. OK. All right. Oh, oh wow. Let me know when you're here next. We will do it. Thank Thanks you. so much. Take, Take care. care.